the bigger the project you want to create manifest, the more you have to love yourself. Right. Okay. And Trump, honestly, for what he is, I'm telling you, he's showing you how it's done. You don't have to have any plan at all. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It's Friday. It's finally Friday. And I've got good news. Sensei says peace will reign this weekend. You'll finally come into some emotional harmony. But you may actually have to go back on an old emotional boundary you said you'd never go back on. From my smartphone to yours, keep streaming for your Friday. Namaste today. Good morning and welcome to Namaste Today, the soulful way to start your day. I'm your host and spiritual life coach, Christopher Watecki. Namaste, my friend. Welcome back. Happy to say it's fun Friday and I'm so excited. It's a beautiful day in Southern California. We certainly have things blooming, so pardon my voice here. I feel like a teenager in different moments. And we are moving forward. I think we're going to find peace. We're going to find peace this weekend, especially peace of mind. But Sensei says... You may have to go back on an old emotional boundary that you said you would never go back on. And I'll explain why in just a minute. But first, let's do our Zodiac forecast. This Zodiac Moodcast is for Friday, May 27th, 2016. And looking at the three-day forecast, well, today and Sunday are the most fun and jovial. Saturday is going to be a spiritual day. Not necessarily bad, but just spiritual. You're not going to feel like showing up too much. But let's talk about today. Today is sunny and jovial. That's what Sensei's opinion is. I think we're all going to feel joyful. A lot of it's the summer around the corner. It's also a three-day weekend here in the United States. But it's also the planets, in my opinion. The Great Human Walk has reached Step 6 Gemini. Step 6 is our ability to receive and open up. That means our mind is willing to open up. That means our ruling number today is the number 6. Everyone's feeling really 6 And the ruling planet is Venus, right? You can see how these all things go together. Now... Our emotional focus today is detached but functional. I don't think we're dysfunctional. We're, we're going to be able to detach but also show up for what we need to do. The moon's in Act 2 of Aquarius. And our mental tone, once again, is peace and balance. Mercury is direct at Step 15 Taurus. That in itself is peace, but Step 6 is peace. So, for the Lightwalker News Flash, be prepared, my friend, uh, to change an old emotional boundary you said you may never change. And what is that? Well, I'll tell you in Astro Talk, it comes down to Mars retrograde now at step 29 Scorpio. And that tells me that we had an old ego, Mars, that drew lines once upon a time, and those lines that our old ego drew no longer apply. And the crazy thing is, is it's most likely somewhere we've walked before because it's a retrograde. So in other words, this is one of those I never, I never say never, <laughs> okay, like, and, and, you know, don't be too surprised. This is literally where rules change and it comes from people's emotional rules change now you will be asked to change some emotional rules inside of yourself it may be logical because things are changing you know the the kids are moving out of the house like you know there's shifts like sometimes it's just natural change going on but also sometimes it's saying i never i said i would never do that and here i am doing it and it's like well why did you say never that was an ego thing so there's that another little clue though as as well about changing your mind on something is that Uranus is about to hit step 23 on May 28th. And that means that uh, we've been building, building, building Uranus in Aries, a new character, character, character. And that means we've been working to this grand vision of our maleness and our grand vision of our wombed manness or womanness, right? And they're kind of here. And here we have a potential female, literal female president for the first time. And in that way, that is the male achievement of women, really getting women out there. That would be a male thing. And, you know, on the other side, we have God. We have Donald Trump, which is in many ways like this is as far as man has gotten. (laughs) Sorry. Or one way, like it just represents. Now, what it means is is it means that each person is going to reach this new definition 
of their of of who they are, and it's very much tied to really your spiritual interests and what you came here to do spiritually. And I believe in a re-evolution. I don't call it a revolution. I call it a re-evolution where society is going to public, publicly, consciously decide to re-evolve itself. And I think the planets tell us when it's coming. And it's coming in the 20s, uh, you know, in the, in the 2020s. I'll tell you that right now. In the 2020s, definitely. Okay? So the character people are creating right now is actually the character that will you will play in that re-evolution, which is an interesting little thing to think about in this three-day week's end. So the last thing I want to say is what to open up to. This is where I take three breaths, by the way. Uh, what to open up to? Well, yeah, basically Venus is at step four, which means today our, our minds will open up to where we truly belong. And that's part of this whole process of changing our boundaries. It's like opening up to where you truly belong. Where do you want to eat? Where do you want to dine? Where do you want to break bread every day? Where do you belong? Where do you belong in your heart? So it's like, I feel really good here. You belong there, you know? And that in itself is very much the guide to all of this. But Sensei says, uh, you might have to, if you do, if your heart really wants something and your heart opens up to the truth, that's probably where you might have to go back and go, wow, I said I wouldn't, but now I'm going to have to get used to. And Mars is there to kind of help us do that. All right, let me take three breaths, my friends. And, oh, no, 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 I have to give you your three takeaways. Oh, my goodness, I've, I'm slowly coming online this week. <laughs> Forgive me. Three takeaways for the weekend and for the happy weekend. First one, takeaway number one, keep your mind out of the gutter. Keep your mind out of the gutter. Uh, that means it serves, you know, with us building Gemini consciousness, it serves zero, zero for you to think negative, think about the past, think about anything you can't change. That's all the gutter. If you can't change it right now, that's really you're wasting your time thinking. Focus on what you can change. Number two, face any fear with love or a plan. Face your fears with love or a plan. If you're afraid of this, come up with a plan. Sometimes we can't just throw love at it. But if you can throw love, throw love at it. <laughs> if not, come up with a plan and get past the fear and say goodbye to it because you have love or a plan there. And takeaway number three, examine the big picture this weekend. Who did you come to be born what is the big picture? What do you want to achieve? These are private thoughts with just you and you. Go into that. Figure that out. All right. Now I'll take three breaths. <laughs> All right. Spirit was very clear. First thing Spirit says is, dream big, Lightwalker. Dream big. I am definitely here to tell people to dream big. It's not, it's because of how creation works. Uh, and I don't want to get political, but the truth is, is if enough people believe in something, it will happen. End of story. That's how we got to the moon, yada, yada, yada. So it's really about dreaming big and uniting in that dream. With you, that's what it comes down to for sure. The, the key is... Uh, to see the big picture and accept the truth. That's the first thing. To feel yourself out and just to kind of feel where your life is going and what you think. And, you know, I'll, I'll remind you, this is all what you think. I used to think this and now I think that. So we're changing really what we think, but we're exploring other parts of our life to know what to think. And that's what I teach. Don't just stay in the mind. It don't have the answers. The rest of your life has the answers. The mind's just a chalkboard. Okay? So... Go ahead and go cold. See the big picture. Allow yourself to uh, detach. Um, and in that process, uh, you know, allow yourself to think differently. Allow yourself to open up to new ideas. Allow yourself to throw crazy ideas on the griddle. I'll tell you, any idea you throw on the griddle um, came from you. And uh, as crazy it may be, it's somewhere in your universe. All right? Then what Spirit wanted me to really drive home before I let you go is non-judgment. It's okay. Whatever your heart wants, whatever it takes, whatever you'll have to uh, cross to get there, it's okay. Non-judgment, it's okay. It's always okay because you say it's okay. Okay? Okay. All right, my friend. For those who are subscribed to my personal sensei service, uh, I'm going to help you today in a pep talk on seeing that big picture. Like, what are the signs of seeing the big picture? I know it's a big deal. Like, 
what's our imagination? What are the signs? I'm going to talk to you just about my, uh, my, my coping skills with that, how you find the signs. And then secondly, at 3 o'clock, I'm going to give you some spiritual hints on the big picture. So your eye candy day is what your chart says about your big picture. Look for that at 3 o'clock, your local time. For those who are watching, come on down to SeriousStory.tv. I'm throwing a reading sale, and I won't be back on the air until Tuesday. I'm going to give myself a day off, too. I think I deserve one. Memorial myself, and you should at least give yourself some time off. But, hey, book a reading. Uh, this is a great, great savings, $50 off for a one hour. Uh, it's usually 250 It comes down to 200 That's a huge savings, and I'll be in one-on-one uh, -on, -one on Skype. It's all recorded. It will change your life. You'll be amazed. And if you can't do that, invest in a half hour on yourself if you can right now. That's my message out to you, and it does help me keep going in my light walk too. So I'm so grateful for those who've purchased before and so grateful for those who will in the future. Have a fabulous three-day, my friends. I'll be back on Tuesday, of course. Uh, and, of course, I'll be back over the weekend for my subscribers and your weekends in. When you're out there light walking, remember to live in your heart. Remember I love you and live love be. Having trouble in your love life? I have the answers. It's called Secrets of Birthdays, the Love and Lust Report. The biggest problem usually is people choose the wrong person. Not anymore. Find out your birthday secret available online at secretsofbirthdays.com.